Rain was a close classmate of mine in high school and is currently serving in a government agency in Shenzhen, China. On Friday night, Rain called me to say that he would be going on a business trip to Beijing on Saturday and would take the opportunity to catch up at my place. I naturally expressed a very warm welcome. When I told my wife, who I've been married to for less than a year, about Rain's business trip to Beijing, she asked if he would be staying overnight at our place. I said he probably would. On the Saturday that he arrived, it happened that my wife had to go to her mother's place. Rain stayed at my house for the day. That evening, as Rain and I were watching TV and chatting, we inadvertently started talking about women. He asked if my wife might have an affair at work. I said no. I told Rain that he was also 31 and should consider settling down. Rain said it would happen soon, at the beginning of next month, he would marry Miss Young from his department, whom he had known for a year. I asked if it was a shotgun wedding. Rain refuted, saying it wasn't what I thought, and they were very proper, only hugging, holding hands, and at most, kissing. I suggested that he should learn the ways of marital happiness and offered to show him some films for his education. While watching, Rain suddenly expressed envy of me for having such a beautiful wife with a great figure, calling it good fortune. I jokingly said he was daydreaming. Rain admitted he'd admired my wife for a long time. I teased, saying if my wife agreed to sleep with him, I wouldn't oppose. It depended on whether he dared to make a move. I laughed heartily at this, and Rain responded that if it were possible, after his marriage, he would let me as shares his wife too, if I didn't mind. I was initially surprised, as I didn't expect people from Shenzhen in the South to be so open-minded. I didn't respond, taking it as a joke. The next day, my wife returned from her mother's place, and the three of us went to Beijing's Tianmen Square for an afternoon. Rain and my wife got along very well, chatting and laughing as if they had known each other for a long time. In the evening, Rain and I had a drink and chat. As it got later, around 10 p.m., my wife suggested that the two of us chat on the bed while she slept on the sofa. We didn't say much. She was the last to shower, and by that time, Rain and I were already lying in bed chatting. I jokingly invited her to join us on the bed to chat. She initially declined, mentioning the awkwardness of being the only woman between two men. But when she couldn't refuse, she moved closer to the middle as I asked. I took the opportunity to hug her and flip her to the middle of the bed. She exclaimed in surprise and found herself lying between Rain and me. I thought to myself that I wouldn't participate that night and let them enjoy themselves. The next morning, Rain left Beijing and flew back to Shenzhen. We didn't attend Rain's wedding, although the flight wouldn't take long, because my wife and I were trying to conceive and didn't want to disrupt our health with travel, especially since his wedding was on a Wednesday, not a holiday, and we both had work. Therefore, we could only send our regards without being present. Being generous people from the north, I sent him a wedding gift of 8,000 US dollars via WeChat. A few days later, I received a call from Rain who mentioned that his honeymoon travels would be bringing them our way. He wanted to introduce his new bride to us and stress the importance of keeping our matters confidential from his newlywed wife. He assured me, over the phone, that he would gradually discuss the exchange matter with his wife and wouldn't let me down. I agreed and advised him to take his time and visit at ease. One evening, around 7pm, as my wife and I were lounging in light tanks, watching TV in bed, the doorbell suddenly rang. Running to answer it, I found rain at the door accompanied by a lady in a white semi-transparent blouse and a red skirt, presumably his new wife. I hastily invited them inside. After settling down, Rain introduced us to his wife, and then introduced her, Mrs. Young Lee, to us. The name sounded eerily familiar, but I couldn't quite place it. Upon a closer look at Mrs. Young's face, it hit me, wasn't she Young Lee, who used to live next door to me twenty years ago? Her brother, Yang Dong, was my age, and she was the same age as my sister. We even played together as kids. Addressing Mrs. Yang, I mentioned her familiar look and asked if her brother was Yang Dong. Visibly startled, she confirmed and was surprised at how I knew. I reminded her of the past, playing together in our childhood, and she excitedly recognized me, overwhelmed with nostalgia. Rain was confused by the revelation but pleased at the familiarity, suggesting it was for the best. I followed up by expressing that Rain and I were like brothers, and there was nothing we couldn't discuss. I encouraged Mrs. Young not to worry and suggested it might be best to talk openly. Realizing the long-standing acquaintance, Rain allowed us to catch up, 
pushing his wife towards me as Mrs. Young blushed deeply, looking down. Meanwhile, Rain, suggesting we give them space, took my wife by the hand, and they went upstairs together, leaving Mrs. Young and me to reminisce.